Hello everyone, it's Karen Nelson, AKA the designer in jeans. And first of all, what do you think of my new hair? Uh, I just got this dyed yesterday. I'm feeling more like my old self. I have, I'm actually a blonde, but if you have ever worked with me or you know me, I go between blonde and red hair. Um, usually red for the winter, but I was red you know, earlier on like spring this year. And um, I've been slowly stepping down and yesterday they finished my hair back towards, uh, more towards the blonde, which is a lot easier for to grow out as we go. My hair is super thick and curly. So every time I go, I have to get it thinned out and uh, they've been putting a ton of layers in it just so I can hopefully make it through this heat. Um, I would like to try it, keeping it long this year, but I do um, end up getting it chopped off very re frequently as well, just because the heat ends up about killing me. Um, so this is the new hair, and then I'm back to my red lip. Um, I will look up what the name of this red lip is, if anybody's interested, it's one of my favorites, and show it to you before this is over. But this week I'm going to, today I'm working from the house, I am going to move around my living. Okay, we finished moving everything around. So my husband surprised me when I walked in from filming the first part of the video and he had moved the couches and the fireplace for me, which was awesome. Uh, the big heavy lifting was already done, so that was phenomenal. Um, right now I am just having a snack. Um, these, um, they also have it in a strawberry. Chocolate and vanilla are my two favorites. If you have not tried this, you have got to go get this, especially if you're a yogurt eater. Um, I love this and if you have any food sensitivities this is phenomenal and I want to try it with granola in it I've tried it with fruit on point the vanilla tastes like whipped cream so you can put it with um, put your fruit in it it's just it's so good but these I picked mine up at Kroger but if you have not tried them give it a shot um, for the rest of the evening I do need to clean clothes away and um, sweep up kind of live with this arrangement for a minute and see if I want to keep it or if I want to move some stuff around. Um, there's still some stuff up on the fireplace I need to fix, but I'm liking this little spot. This could be my cozy little um, chat spot with y'all versus my office all the time. Um, but I am going to, I'm really thinking about going to get some salmon tonight. Um, I'm a huge salmon, any kind of fish lover actually, but I'm thinking about going to get some salmon and I will fry it up in the air fryer so I can show you how I do that. Um, we just season it and then throw it in there. And if you are not an air fryer user, you need to become one. I was one of those people that like dug in the dirt for the longest time, not going to have one, where am I gonna store it kind of thing. And I use that more than I use my oven or my stove top at this point. And I got mine at Christmas, um, spoiled myself, purchased one, and we have used it for everything. My daughter, we need to buy her one because she is in the little apartment here and she will take it. And I'm like, where's this at? But she loves it. So um, she has like a mini kitchenette. I'm gonna have to show you her uh, apartment as well because it's super cute. Um, my husband built that for her. So we'll give you an apartment tour. Um, but it, it's perfect for her little kitchenette because she's got um, everything in there she needs except for she just has like a, a burner. Um, she doesn't have an oven. So this thing works out perfect for her to make tuna melts, um, grilled cheeses. What else does she make in there? What else does she have? She does the french fries, she does the chicken nuggets. What else is so good in the air fryer? The salmon? Pretty much everything. Yeah. Chicken, salmon. You can even do pizza. Yeah. Right, I mean, you can do probably ribs, burgers, hot dogs. Oh, we have done burgers fish. in there. Burgers were good in there too, because it stays juicy. It doesn't like suck all the yeah, stuff out. Everything is super delicious. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Um, don't be like me. Go ahead and go out and get it, and <laughs> don't fight yourself on it. Um, but when I cook in that tonight, I will film that as well. Do you know what the most delicious thing so in, in the air fryer is? <laughs> I swear potato chips. Potato chips. You had potato chips in there. You did this without me? He did this without me. I am a chip connoisseur. And he did this without me. I'm kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm low key hurt that my husband has a life when I'm not here. Um, <laughs> all right. 
So here is the finished look of my living room. It does look a lot like it did at Christmas, but we did move some stuff around. This couch right here was on this wall and this was centered up under these pictures. Um, this is the way I had it before my husband changed it before I could actually show you guys. So it kind of looks like last time, but you can see how it's set up. We love having a lamp over in that corner. It works out so well. And then here's the rest of the setup. And this used to be the table that was over here. I switched over here and then it's got that record player on top of it and then some greenery. And then I still have not decided what to do with the top up here. Thinking I'll just remove everything entirely just because I do want the full view of the TV. And then we have a cute cozy egg chair. We added a lamp over here just for some more lighting as well. And this is this awesome little spot here. And then of course, hey Ginger, always wanting back in. She wants out and then immediately back in. But we are getting hopefully some big thunderstorms and rain today, which is so needed. Hi hey everyone, this is my Ninja Air Fryer, the one I was talking about yesterday. It comes with this book, which has been phenomenal. It's the Ninja Foodie Pressure Cooker Steam Cooker. Um, in the back of this book, this is my favorite feature. This is the salmon that we're gonna be having this evening. Um, but in the back, it has some recipes and stuff in here I haven't tried, but the back has everything. So it's got like the pressure cooker chart, the um, part that we've only used. I think my husband used this once as a, um, it's got a dehydrator on here the air fry chart. So my husband used this once um, for stew, almost like a crock pot, um, but for the most part, we've just used the air fryer. Um, but you just look down whatever you're gonna cook and we're doing salmon fillets, two fillets at four ounces each. You don't have to do any prep with it. You brush it with oil, you put it on 390 and you cook it for 10 to 13 minutes. So this has been really, really good. And of course you just get all that information off your salmon here. Um, this is one pound, four ounces for the whole thing. So what I normally do is put all four in there for, um, cause they're cut really thin. I put all four of these in there, brush them with oil, and then we add seasoning. And then we throw it in here. Do it in the air fryer. There's really no rhyme or reason to that. I don't actually eat it. Um, we don't eat, I know you can eat the skin, but we don't on salmon. So I just leave. Okay, so I'm just using EVOO, which I'm almost out of, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this just to drizzle a little bit on here. We're almost out. Okay, and then I just have a silicone brush I use to kind of evenly distribute it all over. This is not really necessary, but this is just what I do. Okay. And then I either use, let me see if you can see it. So I either use this, it's called Cavender's. It's all purpose Greek seasoning. Uh, I actually picked this up at Walmart, or you can also get it, I believe on Amazon, but this is extremely good. It's good on, <laughs> honestly everything but we use it on fish the other thing we use sometimes is lemon pepper this we actually use a lot more on salmon but we've had it so much that i'm leaning towards tonight having the cavenders so again this if you have not had it you will love it so i do this pretty generously on here just open a new one and there we go i didn't do a great job of opening the new one. The hole is not big enough for the plastic. Okay, so generous amount. And since I have the skin on the other side, I'm not gonna worry about seasoning that side. So all you do, let's see if I can even do this with y'all watching. So I'm just gonna take the salmon, 
I'm gonna lay it right in here. I don't have this pre-cooking or anything. I know you can warm up and I never do. Um, so I'm just gonna put them in here where they're not touching. And because they're pretty small, I'm just gonna cook them all at once and do 13 minutes, so 390 at 13 minutes. So first thing that pops up is the temperature, which is right, and then we just wanna go down to 13. And then halfway through, you just hit start over here, and away it goes. It's done, the salmon is done, and I ended up cooking it, I was stabbing it, but I ended up cooking it um, two more minutes at the same 390. Um, the way you check salmon to make sure it's done is you just make sure it breaks apart easily. Happy Friday, everyone. I just got back from work and I made myself some clam chowder. I'm just waiting for that to cool. So I did want to come on here and go ahead and close out the, the vlog for this week. I promised you I would show you what the um, lipstick was I had at the beginning of the video. That is Huda Beauty and it's a liquid matte and it is in the color heartbreaker so i do love this one um i do wear it all the time today i'm just wearing like a just a nude lipstick with a little bit of sparkle to it i do this when i have like coffee meetings and stuff just so i don't have to worry about the smearing or if i have to eat but i did want to wish you all a happy fourth of july weekend please be safe have fun and also um it was my father's birthday this week so i did want to give a shout out to dad and happy birthday i hope y'all had an amazing one and I will see you all next week. Bye.